Hey, what's up guys? Um, it's been a while, um, but I was having some really intense communication from my, my guides, um, one of which being Thoth, um, and they wanted me to sit for two days straight, and I did, and it was crazy. Um, saw so much, but it, uh, it, it did a lot of work on my vessel, and um, I just feel so good after it. But um, one of the beings that helped me um, to realize that I needed to do this, or I already knew I needed to do it, but I just confirmed through him. My friend Derek is my old roommate, um, and he actually, he just like awoken um, or unlocked this ability of his, and he had this experience with a UFO where he saw like this light orb land in a river next to him up in the mountains. And then right after that, um, he was with one, a friend of his and she got the same upgrade too. Um, but right after that, he can now like look at somebody's picture and just start, and he just knows everything about them basically. Um, and so now he, he combines it with Reiki too. And he helped me so much in the past like three weeks. Um, but yeah, we started, um, doing these, these readings and healing sessions together and he, he can speak, uh, telepathically, like with my guides and with angels and with pr pretty much anything. Um, like I had this attachment on my, uh, third eye chakra that, well, that was one of the first things that he cleared. And it was like this, it was this being, um, it was like a horse and a rider. And this rider was like living inside of my third eye. And it was like, it was letting energy pass, but it just always felt so uncomfortable. And then I also had these things in my, which I think it had to do with the horse and rider too. Um, but it felt like this uncomfortable pressure on my third eye all the time. And then I also had these um, things that looked like staples, Derek said, um, which were in this, in my, you have these main uh, meridian channels going into your third eye that go right down the side of your nose. And it felt, again, it felt like weird, like sinus pressure on the side of my nose um, that were these, he said they looked like staples. Um, and Derek was able to do um, Reiki on them and remove them and uh, communicate with the rider and with my, my guides to help me um, figure out how to remove that. And basically I just had to focus my attention on it and like absorb it and let it pass through uh, my third eye and into my, into my uh, pineal gland and it, and then it went away. Um, but yeah, Derek is incredible and I can't, like I have done like four, four readings with him and every time it's just amazing how detailed, like you, I could ask any, any question I want to my guides. Um, and he'll give me the answer. It's, it's amazing. Um, but yeah, he was one of the ones that confirmed to me that I needed to do this two day meditation. Um, and if you're interested, um, interested in Derek's readings, um, you should be like, seriously, it's, it's amazing what he can do. Um, he can tell you all about you, uh, all about yourself from just looking at a photo of you. And um, if you wanna get a reading done, um, hit me up in the comments and I'll hook you up with him. Uh, but yeah, uh, so yeah, he he confirmed for me that I needed to do this two day meditation and spoke with with Thoth and um, and I did it and it was, it's so amazing. Like, I don't know how much I should share about it, but it, it like makes, uh, it makes it feels like my nerves are going inside of my body now instead of externally and um yeah it just feel like so much more bliss connecting with this next layer of consciousness um in the galaxy like i in my video where i talked about traveling through the galaxy um like the 7000 light years video um i explained that there's these layers of consciousness as you go and it's like going up in octaves um, as far as energy and you get closer and closer to the center of the galaxy and the more intense the energy gets and we sit um, like right on the cusp of the next layer and the next layer is connected to the star Sirius and if you go towards the star Sirius um, you hit that next layer and um, you you can you hit that and it's like this next layer of of um, awareness that you can bring into your vessel and it's it's amazing um but so the the two-day me uh, meditation ended 
and I, uh, I got to go on board a Pleiadian mothership and um, they took me to my ship and I've seen it before. Um, it's actually me and my twin flames ship. It's like he, he pointed out at one time and said, this is us, like this is our energy. Our energy created this ship and like our DNA um, activates it. And uh, I, look, I was in this Pleiadian mothership and I looked down and there's like this big red button or something and then a big garage door. And um, I put, I, I feel like it said like wash me on it or something or something funny. Um, but I opened it and uh, my twin flame was with me and he took me into the hangar bay and he was like, yep, this is us. Um, it's a, and he was like describing it. It's 200, 200 f uh, feet across. And I was looking at it and like, he was like, this is its hat. And like this little like claw arm brought over this. So it looks like if you look at the planet Saturn, that's kind of the shape of our ship. And then it had this little like uh, spiral or pyramid top that came down and they put it, put it on top. Um, I feel like that the little hat was like a, um, it's like when it, uh, when, when you want to activate it or something to get ready. Um, but yeah, he took me inside and he's like, yep, it's got all the bells and whistles. And he told me, he told me he gave it a nickname, uh, hippopotamus, hippopotamus by latte. And I was like, what? <laughs> but I guess hippopotamus cause it's big and silver. And then by latte cause it's like two cups on, on top of are like connected to one another and we're both by too. So, um, that was cool. Um, yeah. And then, um, I talked to... I talked to some some beings in there, and uh, it was the the Essene Brotherhood, and they told me that I'm doing really well, and that uh, a lot of them went through very very crazy periods when they were um, ascending um, in their times. Um, but yeah, not to worry about anything because I'm well taken care of, I'm well protected, and um, I kept worrying about dissension and like being in 3D too much, uh, but they said like, you've connected with us so much that we can just like, like boop you up, you know, and, and, and sustain you in 5D. Um, so you're, you're not freaking out all the time. They said not to worry about any of these demons or anything anymore. And that was another thing that Derek helped me with. It was like, I had these demon attachments, um, and, uh, was able to find out what I, what exactly I needed to do to get rid of those. And, um, yeah, uh, it, he was going to take me on a ride in the, in the ship, but, um, we actually, <laughs> there was like... <laughs> No, I probably shouldn't say that, um, but uh, no, I, I kind of had like a little bit of a panic attack like in the ship for some reason, for uh, the stupid reason. Um, I was I was still thinking about demons and stuff, so that came up, but he was going to take me on a joy ride, he said, but uh, I didn't get to. Um, and then right after that, I was, I like flew into this big castle looking place, um, and it was it was really, really cool. It had like these big, uh, stone churches and like, um, beautiful. They said there's like a library here and, um, they said that I'll, I'll be able to go there astrally someday, um, someday soon, hopefully. Um, but yeah, um, it's been awesome since that two day meditation. Uh, there has been, I talked to Archangel Michael through Derek, um, yesterday and he said that there's, there's a lot of collective, um, uh, th there's like a collective, um, ener energy relapse right now. Um, I think it has to do with, uh, the conjunction of Mars and Venus. Um, like there's this big, there's a, there's a really old civilization that lives on Venus, or at least I was told that, um, there's a civilization on Venus that's like a, a billion years old and they actually developed or they evolved without opposable thumbs. So they, they evolved without war. So they're a super, super advanced um, civilization that lives on Venus, but it, they live in like higher dimensions and they're one of the civilizations that are, are helping us a lot. And then Mars um, went in between uh, us and Venus basically and uh because of that they're like intercepting um venus's energy i think and kind of like dragging the collective down um 
so yeah the reptilians on mars aren't very good but uh i think this is a planetary ascension too like our solar system is ascending with and it's not just gaia so hopefully things will change there too i, I think they will eventually um, maybe not right away but yeah eventually um so yeah guys um I had a really cool dream last night that I went to this fashion show in like a railway station. It was really cool. Um, and like at the end of it, this big, uh, this big like chugga chugga caboose comes in and there's like all these people wearing, uh, wearing makeup and, um, and dresses and, uh, styling, styling well. Um, but yeah, and then I remember there was like a couple boys that I was like hanging out with and kissing and stuff, <laughs> it, like uh, in the in the railway station. And uh, my friend, my friend uh, Leo, so he has been my best friend for a long time, or one of my best friends. And uh, I remember going to the fashion show, and he he rolled up and picked me up in this uh, blue Toyota Tacoma with like tank tracks on it. And then we were like off roading to this uh, to this gathering and this fashion show. It was it was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, guys, having a lot of really cool experiences, and um, it's all about beingness, and um, that's being one with Source. Is like feeling yourself, loving yourself, and feeling the consciousness, and that consciousness inside of you is everywhere, and that's, that's what God is, you know, you're, you are God, but everything is God, you know, and when you feel the inside of your body, you insert that God consciousness inside of your body, and, um, like, feel it, and experience it, and taking, taking thought out of, the uh, out of the equation is another bit, whole big thing, that was another reason why they wanted me to meditate for two days. I was just thinking too much. I had all these thought knots um, going on um, that a lot of, like, most of them are cleared up. But, it uh, like, not thinking is a hard thing to do. So, and especially, like, having all these experiences and talking telepathically with beings, uh, it's hard to be sometimes. But that's, that's the goal now is just... Uh, uh, being in love with myself always and, uh, just being in and taking thought out of the equation. Um, so yeah, guys, I hope you like the check-in. Hopefully more experiences come to come soon. I'll share, share more with you. Bye.